Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Riley, aka Access for Gamers, and I am back for another iOS and Android accessible app spotlight. Now, this one is an app that I almost personally did not get. And the reason I almost didn't get it is because at the time that it came out, I was close to home, okay? I was only a few hours away from my favorite baseball team. So I was close. And I thought, well, I don't need to do that because I could just listen to it on the regular radio station. Well, that would be true normally. But something ends up happening and I end up moving 700 miles away to live with my boyfriend. So, yeah, now I'm not only an hour or so away, so I had to have it. Well, I'm glad I got it when I did. We will be looking today at Major League Baseball's At Bat app, and I happen to have At Bat Premium because to get the subscription, you got to pay 20 bucks a year, which is not bad for what you get. It is not bad at all. You get preseason, uh, spring training, I should say, excuse me, wrong sport there, Riley. Um, you get spring training, you get all-star break, and you get postseason all the way up to the World Series, which will be happening tonight. So, yeah, we are really excited about this matchup because we're glad Houston won. Yay, Houston. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what all this app features. Now, it also features... If you get the premium version, it will give you some old clips from games from the back in the 1970s, even 80s, 90s. Some old games, they have them recorded and archived. So you'll get to see those if you buy the premium version. Or if you get the at bat TV version, if you're low vision and you want the TV instead of, of the radio version, you can get the TV premium, which if you get the app, you can get that. If you get the uh, TV version, you can get the app version free. You can get the premium app that free. So if you buy the, if you'd rather just have the radio version, it's 20 bucks a year, which I highly recommend because it's very accessible. And so we're going to just pop right in here and I'll show you what all it has. Change team, button, right. possible text, Chicago Cubs. Okay, you'll see that I have the Chicago Cubs selected as one of my favorites. I have three favorite teams in my list, and I'm going to show you who that is. Done, button, teams, heading, edit, button, favorite teams. There's your favorites. You can select who you want, but you have to edit to do it, I believe. Chicago Cubs. You got the Chicago Cubs there. Cincinnati Reds. And that's my home team, because I'm from Ohio originally. Minnesota Twins. And now that I live in Minnesota, I root on Minnesota. Now, you're wondering why Chicago is in that list? Well, it's a tribute to a little boy that I met years ago who had terminal cancer. He was a Cubs fan and was really sad because he knew he was going to pass on. And so I told him that I would follow them in his honor. Now, you can go AL East. over Baltimore Orioles, Boston Red Sox. And you can add these other teams to it if you edit Baltimore, AM, Minnesota, Cincinnati, Chicago Cubs. So we're going to click Chicago because MLB. Why not? TV button. You have MLB TV, which is, that's the TV stuff. That's all TV stuff there. Cast not connect. Change team button. Ask at bat button. You can send in questions about your team to Major League Baseball. Game day audio button. There is where your audio is. You click that and you'll get audio feeds from whatever games are played that day. Top stories. See all button. You have the top stories, which is just news articles about that particular team that you like. Cubs prospect fill strike zone to best weekly. Videos. See all button. You also have video highlights. You can choose to watch videos if you'd like. A thank you to Joe. Two. Cubs top ten. Five. Epstein discusses. Two. Third. NL player of zero. And Fifty. Zabra scoreless eighth. Zero. Cubs insider. You got their insider, which is like a newsletter on the team. Launches web view. Launches WebView. Uh, Launches at the ball. Cubs info. You got their info here. Transactions right? button. That's basically your, I would assume you're like your, um. Roster button. There's your roster. 
Coaches button. You got your coaches. That you can click on that and see their coaches. Stats button. Transactions, I would bet, is maybe ticket sales because it's postseason now, so they're not in the postseason anymore, but I think that's probably where you have your ticket sales and stuff too because you have that part. 2020 sca- stats button. You got their stats. 2020 schedule you got button. The schedule for 2020. 2019 schedule and results button. You got the 2019 schedule and the results, so it'll tell you what their win loss ratio is. You find out what they won, what they lost. Standings button. Their standings, where they were in the division. Wrigley Field button. Of course, their ballparks. You'll get information probably on that. More from the Cubs. And then you get more information. Social Clubhouse button. I'm not exactly sure what that is because I don't go in there that often. I believe probably question and answers with them, maybe with players. I'm not exactly sure. Auctions button. They have auctions where they can auction stuff off for, you know, player merchandise for charities. Settings button. Then you got all your settings where you can customize it to your liking. Open banner, image, close banner, button, selected, Cubs, tab, postseason, tab, you two of five. You got postseason, which is the results from the games past in the, you know, October postseason here. Scores, tab, you got three all the of scores five. of the games. News, tab, News four of five. Major League Baseball or your team, whatever you choose. More, tab, five of five. More, more, tab, five of five. Let's go into that. Stats, button, sections, ask at bat, button. Of course, Settings you have button. the app, ask at bat. You have the settings where you can go in and set it to your liking. More heading, setting, ask at sections, stats you got their button. Stats again. Standings button. Standings. MLB Network button. That's the just the whole Major League Baseball Network there. Teams button. You got the teams where you can select your favorites. Postseason bracket challenge button. That's a challenge that they've done so that people can win some types of prizes they do prizes and stuff like that so you have those which i think this is the first year they've done that because i don't remember this challenge at all stat cast leaders button that is basically your stats leaders of the players cut four button cut four is kind of some obscure news in baseball just weird obscure strange stuff it's kind of cool actually Prospect watch button. That's the minor leagues. That's your team's prospect watch. So you can watch whatever your team's doing in the prospects, you know, in the minors. It'll show their prospects and all the players that they have coming up in the organization. MLB shop button. That's your merch. Social clubhouse button. Again, I'm not quite sure. That might be Q&A with your players and teams. I'm not sure. Auctions button. Of course, you know, that's for player memorabilia or You know, team memorabilia, whatever. Play ball, button. MLB trivia, button. Apps and games, heading. Games and stuff. MLB ballpark, free. Me, LB first pitch, free. R, B, I. Baseball 19, R, B, I. Baseball 18, paid. MLB home run derby, free. MLB beat the streak, free. MLB line drive, free. Help, heading. Then you got your help and support. FAQs, button. Subscription management, button. And you can subscribe. Like I said, to premium, if you want, which is 20 bucks a year. Contact us, button. You can email them or contact About them somehow. heading. About MLB AM, button. Blackout restrictions, button. Privacy policy, button. Terms of and use, button. of course, button. they have their Cubs, typical privacy policies and terms of use. So if for, for some reason you are going away or you're traveling or whatever, you're going overseas and you want to see your team or you're crazy like me and just move us 700 miles away (laughs) you know you got all of your teams right there you've got them all lined up right there you've got postseason you got spring training you've got the off season stuff whatever they do you find out news from that once the world series is over at bat does not stop you will still get notifications on things if you have notifications turned on for your team you will get notified when something else happens for them you will get told what's going on if you want other major league baseball news besides just your team you can get that done too it just depends on what you want you customize it to your liking that's basically what you do with this app it is all about what you want to do you can have it your way basically it's it's really simple it's easy it's accessible I've had this app for, I'd say, about seven years now, and I've, I've loved it. Like I said, I wasn't going to get it, but 
It was recommended by the broadcaster of the Cincinnati Reds. Wish you well in your retirement there, Mr. Brenneman. You're awesome. Marty Brenneman was really recommending that app. And so being a huge fan of Marty that I was, I was like, you know what? If Marty's saying it's good, I'm going to check it out. And it happened to be accessible. Marty didn't know this. But he was always an inspiration to me. That's why I got into baseball in the first place. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be into sports because of Marty. So there is my demonstration of the Major League Baseball at bat app. You can follow Jesse on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH, Illegally Cited.com, YouTube.com slash Illegally Cited. You can also follow me on Twitter if you'd like at Access, the number four, Gamers. You can also check out the A4G podcast. We'd love to have you come join us. If it's not on one of your platforms that you have, please request it because we're not on a lot of platforms and if you want to hear it and you can't, you can either comment below and we will let you know if it's on that particular platform that you use. If, if you already know it isn't and you want it there, please send them a notification or some type of email and say, hey, could you please get the A4G podcast on? I'd like to hear it. It would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for tuning in. I will be chatting with you guys sometime soon. Later.